On October 29th, 2018, Lion Air Flight 610 departs Sokarno Hatta International Airport of Jakarta, bound for Pangal, Penang. It is a domestic service with 189 souls on board. The aircraft is the new Boeing 737 MAX. During the takeoff roll, the pilots get a shaker warning followed by takeoff configuration warning. The stick shaker could indicate a potential stall situation. The captain's airspeed and altitude indicator were also mismatching with the first officers. Nevertheless, they continue the takeoff roll. The aircraft was very unstable as they were leaving Jakarta Bay and it struggled to gain altitude. The pilots kept pulling on the control yoke to maintain a level flight. However, 13 minutes after takeoff, their efforts turned out to be in vain. The aircraft entered an irrecoverable dive and crashed in the Java Sea, killing all souls on board. A few months later, on March 19, 2019, Ethiopian Airlines Flight 302, bound for Nairobi from the Ethiopian capital, crashed shortly after. It had a similar flight trajectory like the Lion Air flight and it was also a Boeing 73 MAX aircraft. The problem began in 2010 when Airbus announced their new generation of Airbus A320 which would be more fuel efficient and profitable than its older generation. So they introduced a larger engine under their wing. The engine had a higher fuel to air bypass ratio meaning less fuel consumption and quieter engines at reasonable thrust production. Now, since the two big rivals in the aircraft manufacturing industry are Airbus and Boeing, Boeing obviously had to do something or else they will incur heavy losses due to the success of the other. Looking at the drawing board, the equivalent aircraft to Airbus A320 which Boeing had was the Boeing 737-800 series. But upgrading this aircraft with newer engines was not as straightforward as Airbus. Firstly, the fact that Boeing 737 was introduced in the late 1960s, it was designed in such a way that loading cargo and baggage on the aircraft would be easy since early airport terminals had no modern equipment like we see today. For this reason, the aircraft was designed at a lower ground clearance than the Airbus A320. The Airbus A320 was introduced 20 years later in 1988 with more modern technologies including the fly-by-wire system. The Boeing 737 has gone through several iterations since the first make in 1967, but the original design is still somewhat visible in the MAX. The bigger engines would simply not fit under the wings, so Boeing engineers had decided to mount them forward and higher in the wing. This, however, changed the center of gravity as well as the entire aerodynamic properties of the aircraft. During high thrust, like in takeoff rolls, the aircraft will now tend to pitch up more than the usual. So, Boeing installed the MCAS or Maneuvering Characteristics Augmentation System. This is a software which detected the aircraft's pitch through the angle of attack sensors in the front. If the high pitch was detected, the software would trigger the elevators at the back of the aircraft to go up, forcing the nose to go down and back to a safer pitch attitude. Boeing wanted that the new generation of their Boeing 737 cost just as the previous generations and also have the profitable gain that airlines expect. Hence, pilot training for the new system, which would require extra costs to cover them, was not done. Instead, pilots were only told that they can simply walk in into the new aircraft and fly it without any extra training. Some pilots were just given a two-hour iPad session, but that to never mention the word MCAS. As you can expect, what happens if the angle of attack sensors were to fail? The software will now force the nose of the aircraft down even in level flight. On Airbus, 
If an AOF sensor fails, the computers retire to manual mode, giving pilots full control when they detect conflicting information from the other redundant sensors. However, in the case of the MAX, the system was designed to continuously keep pushing the nose down with data from the sensors, unless they were turned off, which the pilots were not trained for. Boeing and FAA were put under investigation for rushing the aircraft's certification. Boeing lost billions of dollars in this crisis, followed by the pandemic, with plummeting sales and air travel. In the case of the Ethiopian crash, the pilots were able to disable the MCAS using manual stab trims. However, it was too late as the aircraft was irrecoverable by that time. Boeing introduced the MAX in 2011, claiming that it performed just like its previous generations, even if it didn't.